Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Today I have a movie review. So yesterday I watched this movie called The Help. And it's the story of black maids in the South, Mississippi, and what they went through. And so what you learn is that these women raised other people's kids for them. They cooked for them. They did everything for them. And wealthy, you know, white ladies in the movie. I don't know if poor white ladies had it the same. These were wealthy white folks in the South. And um, they were really treated um, poorly. And they raised these kids. And then these kids grew up to treat them poorly as well. And one of these kids that was raised by a, a black maid was played by, I think it's Emma Watson. And she really loved the black woman who raised her, Constantine. And when she came back from somewhere, Constantine was gone and she felt something was wrong and she was really bothered by it. And later on, she found out that her mom fired her because Constantine was getting like really old and her daughter came to visit her and uh, Emma Watson's mom had just been nominated like local chapter president of the Daughters of America. And the national president was at her house and she felt that uh, Constantine, the black maid and her daughter were being disrespectful to the lady who owned the house. And they weren't being disrespectful. That lady actually loved them as well and thought of them as family and they had free reign uh you know they they were like part of the family but the president of the daughters of america the national uh president tells her you might put up with this but we don't and so if she wanted to hold this lofty position within the daughters of america she had to do something and she fired them and she did say she went to look for her the next day, learned she went to Chicago. She sent her son to uh, find her. And she was dead from a broken heart is what Emma Watson accused her mom of. And then after that, her mom kind of gains a backbone and challenges the status quo as well. Um, but Emma Watson, like, sees how the black maids suffer and wants to tell their story. She also wants to be a writer. And they do it anonymously, and um, they feel empowered that they're finally getting their story out. And after the book is a success, some of the people in the town, um, the white ladies, are pretty mad because they know it's about them, and... And they want to get revenge. You know, they want to lock people up. Not for the book. They'll accuse them of stealing. And the law would take their side all the time. But um, at the end, you know, they're talking to Emma Watson, the two uh, lead actresses for the maids. And they tell her that, you know, she really, like, made a difference for them. But and in doing so, she burned down every bridge she had in town because she had to go against everybody to do the right thing. Um, even other white folks in the video seemed like they didn't like what was happening, but none of them were going to take a stand against the group thinking. And Emma did. And because of it, she got a job in New York, which is where she wanted to go anyways. Um, and then it shows the... Uh, the maid that kind of uh, was she was the first one to work with Emma Watson and then got other people involved and um, she gets accused of stealing and she didn't steal because that's how they're going to punish her and she gets fired by the lady who doesn't want to fire her but she feels she has to fire her because this other prominent lady is at her house and telling her she has to fire her so kind of like what happened to Emma is happening all over again. And it does show that dynamic between Abilene and Maybelle, the little white girl, uh, being one of 
genuine love for each other. You know, they genuinely both loved each other. That little baby loved Abilene, and Abilene loved that baby. Um, and so there's that heartbreak, you know, for both of them because of the system. And the movie ends with her walking away, and, you know, she's fired, thinks she's probably going to go to jail. And she says, you know, no one really asked how I ever felt. And when I told it, I um, I felt free. And she says that she thought of all her life and the um, and that her son had said there would always be a writer in the family. And she thought it's going to be her because she also it was uncertain if she thought she was going to go to jail. And that didn't matter no more. She was free now because she could tell her story without fear of she just wasn't afraid anymore um and so i thought it was a beautiful uh movie and i would say that like there's times when the maids are talking about like everything they do and i think you know i'm sure that here in california um those roles are now taken by uh mexican women you know, immigrant women raising other people's kids. And I wonder if they get treated poorly or um, how they get treated. And maybe they don't. You know, this is California. So uh, who knows? But I do know that in a lot of places, it's, you know, brown ladies uh, fulfilling that role. And back then, you know, during in the movie, they claim that they don't even get minimum wage. So I did think about if that plays out still today in certain ways. And... um because I do hear a lot of talk about black and brown unity, that's why I brought that up so that, you know, folks will want to watch the movie. I think if, you know, you're brown, you, that's how you identify. I identify as human, but if you identify as brown and you watch this movie, hopefully it will give you some empathy for uh, folks you see as black. And if not, that's why I brought up that in some places it is brown people fulfilling those roles now. Um, but I, I think that would be a good way for folks to, um, build that unity by watching, um, you know, good quality movies about the experience of others and gaining an appreciation for what they've been through. That said, I hope you guys have a great day and, um, a productive one too. Have a good one.